Okay, so today I want to give my first impressions on the McGrath Mac video laryngoscope and my thanks to Healthcare 21 for sending this through to review. So the McGrath Mac is new, it's been around for quite a while and is a pretty popular choice when it comes to a video laryngoscope for both adults and children. Um, I haven't had that much experience of it until now and part of the reason for that is it hasn't offered a recording feature which has been something which has been quite important to me. So it's great to get um, some experience of the McGrath Mac and today is really going to be my first impressions of it. So like I say, I'm fairly late to the party when it comes to the McGrath Mac, um, but I've reviewed so many other video laryngoscopes that I, I want to put my opinions on it out there. And actually looking at it compared to some of the other video laryngoscopes will actually be quite useful, even if you are fairly familiar with this device. So again, taken out of the box, I think one of the first things you notice is just how small and compact the device is. Um, it's fairly light and well balanced in the hand. Um, and one of the nice things about it is that you just have one device. So there's one version of this which is used to intubate from neonate to large adults. So that's fairly impressive. You don't need a different device or a different video button depending on the age of child that you're looking after. So it comes with four standard blades. There's a Mac 1, Mac 2, Mac 3 and Mac 4. Um, this is the Mac 1 blade here. And they also have a hyperangulated blade for difficult airways. Um, and I think from using a number of other video laryngoscopes, one of the things I notice when first picking up this device is just how thin their blades actually are. Um, the blades are all fully disposable, but when I'm looking at this for the first time, I'm noticing just how thin the video button on the device it is um, in all planes. So on this plane, it's quite narrow here, which is going to be great for getting it into children with limited mouth opening and also for angling round corners. The other thing with the device as well is that it's quite thin in this plane. So you have plenty of space to the right of the device in the mouth. And that should give two things. One, it should leave plenty of space for tube delivery. And the other thing, it should offer a good direct view. Other video laryngoscopes that this is much thicker, you can have some difficulty delivering the tube. Um, and the other problem you have is although you get a good view on the screen, you don't get a good view with direct view. So it'll be interesting to see how that performs today. Like I say, the blades are disposable. They just clip onto the device, lock into place. Now, the device is a fairly simple device. Um, it's fairly basic. There's only one button. So there's power on and power off. Um, it comes with um, non-rechargeable disposable batteries. So you just give this a tug and the battery comes out. Um, again, to clip the battery in, it's just push it in like this. Now, again, that brings its own advantages and disadvantages. Obviously, there's a cost to replacing the battery. But one of your advantages of this is, is that as long as you keep a spare in the drawer, you don't need to, the device isn't out of action while it's being recharged. Um, so you can just take a brand new battery, put it in, and you're ready to go. Um, the screen, um, it's fairly small, and there is limited viewing angles. Um, but again, um, it should be adequate for doing the intubation. So to turn it on, it's just a press of the button, and it should power on. There we go. Um, you've got your screen, um, and the only thing on the screen you have is a battery indicator. And I wish more devices would display their battery length in this way. So you've got 222 minutes left from this battery. I think it was around about 260 minutes or so at the start when it first arrived. Um, and this is so much more useful than a display of bars. You've got so much confidence when you take this out, you've got a long time of battery life left to do your intubation. So that's the device in itself. Um, let's have a look and see how it performs to do an intubation in the models we've got here today. So the first one, we've got a normal neonatal model, um, and I've got the size Mac 1 blaze here. So let's have a look and see how it performs. So no problem getting that into the mouth. We've got a nice full view of the laryngeal opening. Plenty of space to deliver the tube, and it goes straight to the cords without any problem. The other thing that's really nice is you can see how well focused the markers are on the tube, and you have no difficulty positioning the tube at the black markers at the level of the vocal cords. 
So great video laryngoscopy view. Having a look at direct laryngoscopy, I don't know if you can see that, but the view on direct laryngoscopy is just as good as I've got on the screen, which having reviewed all major video laryngoscopes is an incredibly rare feature. And again, that was the first thing that struck me when I looked at the blades was just how thin they were. So I've got a perfect direct view and I can do the intubation with direct laryngoscopy. So that's a, that's a great feature should secretions block your view as it can do with times with video laryngoscopy. You can use direct intubation um, to secure the airway. So that's a really nice feature. Let's have a look at the difficult airway model and see how well it performs here. So again, sliding around the corner, I think there's a bit of glare on the top of my screen. I think that's the blade that's been used before and that wouldn't normally be there. And it wasn't there the last time I had used it, so ignore that little bit of glare. Um, again, looking at the direct view, it's not quite as good here. I've got a two, a grade 2B view here in this model. Much better view on the screen and no difficulty directing the tube all the way to the cores. Let's have a look at the size 2 blade. In the child model. So this mannequin, the, the airway always looks pretty squashed in, so that is normal. So we go in and lift. So that's a normal view of that airway with these tissues here. Um, and let's see and try how it works for intubation. No problem with that. And again, the markings on the tube are reasonably sharp. You could adequately position that without any problems. Looking in with direct view, again, we've got a very, very similar view with direct laryngoscopy um, as we do with video laryngoscopy. And there's loads of space here. I can do it with direct just as easily as I can with video. So again, my first impressions of this device are really positive. While it lacks some of the features I'm used to in the rechargeable battery, built-in storage for recording photos and videos, and a slightly bigger, higher definition screen, I'm really, really impressed with just how thin they've got these blades. The fact that you've got one device from a neonate to an adult. And it I'm really encouraged by just how good a direct view I'm getting on these small models. So it'll be interesting to see does that translate the same way in real patients. And again, I'll give my feedback after I have used it for some more real intubations in children. Again, my thanks to Healthcare21 for sending this through to me to review. Thank you.